Near at four in celebration of Arts Month, the Pikes Peak Outdoor Recreation Alliance brightened up areas all across the region looking for improperly discarded trash used to make a display they hope will encourage everyone to leave no trace behind. Our John McMichael has more on the Litter Letter Project. Art can be made from anything and taking trash and making it something beautiful uh, is, is a great thing that all of us can do. And in celebration of Arts Month, well-intentioned folks are doing just that. We've created these giant letters. They're framed with recycled materials and we have different groups that do cleanups. These folks placed all over the Pikes Peak region are volunteer based accounting for nearly 350 donated hours. It's uh, about 20 of us out here with gloves on and plastic bags and trash pickers and we're going up and we're picking up all kinds of items uh, that we find that just don't belong. That trash then goes into these massive letters as part of a public art display. But as you may have guessed, that display is only half of the purpose of this area-wide effort. And so yeah, as you get more people involved in those cleanups, um, they're out on those places, they learn to appreciate them and learn to take care of them. No one of us is going to solve this. This is something that it takes a it takes a village, it takes a cooperative effort. It's what we can do as a community, not just, you know, having uh, someone else sort of fix these problems. It's what we can do together to care about sort of where our kids go and play and, and where we live and recreate. Once all participating groups wrap up, the letters will be organized forming the word resilient. I think the word resilient um, really it characterizes us. I, I'm hoping that people will see that and go, yeah, the pandemic, you know, kind of brought us all down, but, but we are a resilient people. The other message project leaders hope to impress is that our lands can be resilient if we all pitch in to keep them clean. A goal even more crucial with the increase of folks taking to the outdoors for recreation. So uh, art can do a lot of things. And in this case, what we're hoping is that this art that's created from trash can be just another form of awareness of the amount of materials that are improperly discarded. If you can turn it into something that people will be able to uh, go and learn from, then I think we've been successful. Watching out for you, Colorado, John McMichael, News 5. And here's a quick look again at the letters filled to the brim with trash collected by volunteers. This year, they form the word resilient. In past years, the sculpture has read inspire and pristine. The display will be stationed in the far southeast corner of America, the beautiful park at the intersection of Cimarron and I-25 and will stay in place through the end of the month.